there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about when you were illuminated by God, by God's spirit, you were able to endure a great, uh, a great afflictions. And, um, and I'm, I'm, um, I just want to bring some encouragement. Um, I'm going to put that scripture up when I share this video, but, uh, we got to be encouraged. We got to keep going. And, you know, many times we are discouraged and, um, there's different things that go on in our lives that can slow us down, maybe even stop us from walking in God. But, um, we got to remember to keep going forward. Remember that God loves us. He's for us. He's got we got room. He, he, he's got room for our mistakes. So whenever we make a mistake, don't feel like it's over with because that's the enemy. That's the voices of the enemy telling us that God won't forgive us. I don't care how many times you made the mistake. God will forgive you of the sin that you did. Because if you got a heart for God, if you want to live for God, you can make it. If you want to make it to heaven, you can make it. All you got to do is just don't quit. Don't give up. What's more important than making mistakes? Not quitting. So I want to encourage you right there to keep on putting one foot in front of the other. Sometimes it might be tough, but just keep on going. Just like the old saying goes, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Like it gets going up out of here. So, um, you know, Christians, they're not exempt from the roller coasters of life, but we know who to call on when we are in a situation. And that's what makes the difference. And God's going to give us the strength that we need to keep going forward. So every time we're discouraged, we need to remember that God is our source of hope, is our strength. And he believes in us. And no matter who don't believe in us, it could be uh, everyone in this world. If they didn't believe in us and God did, that, that would still trump every other person. So we can we we at times we might feel like the odds are stacked against us but if we got God on our side the odds will never be stacked again against us because his word is 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 sure and um it, it'll it'll never it'll never be shaken out of place and this whole world is going to be shaken but if we got God's word in us if we're rooted and grounded in God we'll never be uh we'll never you know be taken down God's going to keep us standing and that's the hope that I want to bring to you all today. I want to encourage you and let you know that God's going to keep you standing if you put your full trust in him. And it's not we're going to be just trying to convince ourselves that God is going to make a way. But just by us casting our cares on God, by us praying to God, by us asking God for help, that is faith right there on our behalf. And so God sees that. And when we don't don't see what God's doing and when we don't understand, just because we're still talking to God and still doing what we know that we should be doing and trying our best, God sees that as faith and it's imputed on us as righteousness. Just claim it. Trust God. He's going to work things out in your life. He's going to be working things out. Just keep on claiming God because he's going to give you the victory. He's going to take you higher than the victory. It ain't going to just be about surviving. It's going to be about reviving, revival, because you're going to be able to dance in the midst of the storm because God can make it happen like that. People are going to be seeing you going through different circumstances and uh, just know that that's going to be a chance for you to let them uh, uh, know what you're made of and you're made of. Uh, 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 you're made of God. You're at, we're made of the image of God, and and we're gonna let the love of God shine even when we don't. Uh, when we got situations and things going on, and, and 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 it could hold us down, and sometimes we might be down, but we know ultimately we got joy and hope in God. No matter what comes our way, we can still look up and still have joy. It's more than a smile on our face, but it's joy in our heart that lasts forever. I feel it and I love it. And it's not something that just happens sometimes, but God's truth it endures forever. And he's going to keep working things out in our lives. So don't be discouraged. David in the Bible, King David, he was going through a time where he was discouraged because, you know, the, the people he led, 
talked about stoning him and they were just upset with him like he did some things wrong but he really didn't i mean you know uh but um you know he got discouraged but it said that he encouraged his own self in god and that's what i want to encourage y'all right now encourage your own self in god we got to do it sometimes we won't find somebody to encourage us we won't have that person sometimes and then that's when we just need to get in the word ourselves connect with god in prayer and watch something happen always something will happen i'm telling you it will happen just sometimes all you can do is just say the name of jesus whisper the name of jesus but just like i heard before the weakest the the, the 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 smallest whisper of the name of jesus is a threat to the devil because satan he don't want you to connect with god because he knows if you do it's going to be over with man i could keep going but i just want to leave y'all with this encouragement right here keep trusting god and god bless you all in jesus name